In this video, I want to chat about profile being used in the place of flatness. So in the right circumstances, profile means the exact same thing as flatness as far as producing the part and inspecting the part. So I'm just going to discuss why you would use flatness instead of profile even though they do the exact same thing. So I got some examples on the board here. This is a block with a size dimension and a flatness. So I think I've gone through in other videos what this means. You've got two parallel planes where the uh, surface of the part has to be within. It has no relation to anything else on the part. So the part could be wildly angled and it would still meet flatness. It might fail size, but it could meet flatness even if this part is, you know, a big angle or something. So. We've got a similar thing over here with the profile. So if you notice, we've got the profile signal, profile symbol, the same tolerance, same size dimension. This gets inspected the exact same way. Now you might say, well, profile and flatness have different definitions in the ASME standard, and they do. So the definition for flatness is two parallel planes in which the surface of the part must lie. So there's no relation to individual features. The definition for profile is that there's a tolerance zone that extends perpendicular to the basic surface or just the surface of the part in which uh, the tolerance zone is. So what that means, if you have a part like this with a profile tolerance, okay, let's say you got a profile, it means that every point on this part, the tolerance zone is perpendicular to the surface. So the tolerance zone just follows the surface, right, on the inside and the outside, okay? So when it's a flat surface, it's the definition is different, but it means the same thing. So you end up on this flat surface if you go out perpendicular, right? Both sides, it's just two parallel planes, just like the, the flatness tolerance, right? So it does the same thing. You would inspect it the exact same way. I did make a video about this. I'll, I'll put a card up but there's no change. So why don't we just use profile for everything so we don't have to waste ink on different signal, symbols? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first is just readability, okay? It's just when you see the flatness symbol, you know it's flatness. You don't have to think about it. When you see a profile, you've got to look to see if there's datum references. Now, I know it just takes a half a second, but it's something you got to think about. Now, if this had datum reference, now it's not flatness. Now it's real chameleon, right? Now it's parallelism, okay? It's doing a slightly different thing. So the flatness is easier to identify. It's more clear to the who is making the part and who is inspecting it as to what you want. Now from a design side, you might want to use profile for uh, design flexibility. So what I mean when you're designing this part, if you think it might have major changes, perhaps you gotta corrugate it, or perhaps sometime, some point in the design cycle, it looks like this, right? So you gotta cut something out, maybe it's, it's sitting on something and you need to reduce the surface area, whatever it is. Now, if you just leave the drawing the same, or you could add the two times to the flatness, now that flatness does not control the coplanarity. Now, it might matter, it might not. Again, I have a whole video about coplanarity, but what, I, what I'm trying to get at, you can have unintended consequences with this part. If these aren't coplanar, it might not do what you want it to, where a simple profile would at least control the coplanarity of the part. So same thing. Say the bottom of the part becomes a squiggle at some point in the design process or it becomes a, a big radius. If you have that profile in already, it's a little bit more robust design-wise, okay? Now you could do an entire part without using anything except profile. So let me give you an example.
Here's a rectangular block. Of course, this is a common thing I use to talk about GDNT, but in this case, everything is done with profile. The only thing I'd be missing is something to control this surface, which I could do right here. The only thing I'm missing is basic dimensions for all the locations and sizes. But this whole part is done with profile. Now, the typical way you'd see this part is flatness, perpendicularity, perpendicularity, and position. The only one you can't really get away with is profile on the hole. Now, gdnt wise design-wise, it makes sense. It gives you the most tolerance compared to just having a position with the MMC or a position with just a LMC. But when it gets to making the part, and especially inspecting the part, profile with uh, a hole is going to cause big problems. Okay, People aren't used to seeing it. Uh, it's not inspected the same way as a position tolerance. You're not looking for the actual mating envelope of this feature. You're looking for the surface of the hole. So in this whole drawing, I would say that everything here is good to go, except this profile should be changed to a position. So this video started out as just talking about profile, flatness. It got a little far away from the mark. But I just wanted to put this out there and have a discussion of some GD&T stuff. I hope I explained why you might use profile instead of flatness and why you might want to stick with flatness in some situations. Okay, flatness, easier to read. People know what it means right off the bat. Profile gives you more options if you're going to have design changes later on. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below.